Kale, Farmer Dre back at it. We are out here in the blueberries, and today we are getting the plastic and everything ready to start planting. So let's get into it. So as you guys know, we went ahead and mulched it really heavy, put the landscaping fabric with the drip tape underneath. That was before the big rainstorm came through last week. And now I have Isaac out here. He's making all the holes for the plants. And then I have a fancy auger, handheld auger machine there that I'm drilling with holes. We're gonna show you guys how we're burning the holes through the fabric here. And uh, it's going pretty fast, smooth. The only downfall is there's a lot of them. So we have Isaac here. He's got the torch and this fancy little contraption we made here. We're planting the plants 12 feet apart. And all he's doing, 12 feet. 12 in, we're putting the plants. He said 12 feet apart. Tw three three feet. foot apart there. And this is a three foot measuring stick from center to center of the hole there. All I did is got some old license plates, made a fancy uh, contraption there. And we are burning the holes through the fabric there. The drip tape is right here somewhere. Yep, the drip tape is right there underneath the, uh, on the edge of the plants where it's gonna be. So Isaac's just going along here real fast and easy. Going, 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 it's pretty, it's a repetitive job, pretty easy. Just all the only thing you gotta do is just go, go, go until the job gets done. He has 1,200 holes to put in here, so. Not too bad, not too this bad. Number 600 something. I'm just joking. Nah. <laughs> I was about to say, man, keeping track of uh, how many holes you made, that's pretty impressive. So over here, all the holes are marked out and made. And uh, I actually just bought this thing this morning. It's a, uh, bought it from Harbor Freight. Just a little handheld auger thing there. And usually in Missouri, we have so much rock, we don't use these to do anything with them. But all we're doing is making a small hole here. So a few hours has passed. I am burning up. It's so hot out here. The sun's beating down. But I'm you go ahead and finish these uh, fourth rows here, four more rows to drill. And got some uh, cousins over right now. They're helping us um, put all these plants out to every single row here. And what they're doing, I'm augering out here with the auger and then they're just putting the plants in here. Just like that. And then my dad is over there with the scale loader putting peat moss in every single hole. We're printing uh, one of those big bales of peat moss per row here, and we're just putting in every single hole in there. There's a lot of plants out here. 1,200 is quite a bit, and it takes a lot of time and energy to put them in, but once we get them done, we'll be golden. So it's uh, just go, go, go time until we get it done. So it is the next morning and we got rain last night. We quit working <clears throat> last night at about six o'clock. We had to go to church and we're out here in the morning now. We got a lot of rain and some of these plants never got put in the hole and we're not planting yet. We are just setting the plants inside the hole just like this, just for, the, for them to uh, not flop over. And you know, they didn't do this yesterday. So I got to go through with Isaac now and pick up all these. All those are fine, and they're just standing nicely with the rainstorm, but all of these, you gotta come through and pick them up again and uh, just do that, and then we'll continue working there, trying to avoid the mud here. But that's part of living in Missouri and farming in Missouri. You know, you get 
three, four days of nice, beautiful weather. Go, 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 work, and then you get rain, it slows you down. So it's just, uh, it's just part of it, part of the hassle. So let's get into it. We gotta go through and lift up these plants. There's about 150 plants per row. And then we'll uh, continue drilling and Isaac's gonna finish burning the holes there so we go ahead and start planting this afternoon. about another hot day and uh, kind of figure out why I get so hot and sweaty is this motor I'm right above it so all the exhaust and you know the the heat of the engine has come right in my face because I talked to Isaac and he said it, it is it feels good out here I was like man why am I sweating so bad but overall it's going pretty good I mean it's uh we got our last row here to do and then we'll be done drilling got to get the bucket on the skid loader put a bunch of peat moss in there now we're putting two or three handfuls full of peat moss in every hole. And then the plan is to get a uh, watering, a big tote, 250 gallon tote of water and fill up full water. I'm gonna add some AMS to it, some ammonium sulfate. And what that ammonium sulfate does is 21% nitrogen, but then it actually drops the pH of the, the uh, soil. So, you know, I amended the soil here with sulfur back in March and I incorporated it. But now, since we're getting ready to plant, we're gonna add some of that and maybe some uh, triple 20 or something like that, some extra, or some a high uh, phosphorus fertilizer to get the roots going again and uh, to start establishing that root system. And all we're gonna do is just kind of fill the hole full of water and the fertilizer and everything, mix the peat moss and then just get the plant out of the container and shove it in there nicely and create like a mucky uh, substance there and then it'll settle in nicely and get it done. But now, all we got to do is finish up here, start setting out the plants, peat moss, and then we'll continue getting it done here. Slowly and surely, one plant at a time, and we will be done, so. So, it is the next morning. Yesterday, last night, I actually planted almost three-quarter of a row, just testing it out, seeing how it works. But this morning, we are filling up this tank again. It's just a 250-gallon tote. The thing that I'm adding to it is some ammonium sulfate, and I'm also adding a high phosphorus fertilizer. I think it's like a... 5, 48, 12 or something like that, just a really high phosphorus. So what that high phosphorus fertilizer does, it initiates the new roots to go ahead and settle in and continue growing into the outside perimeter of the uh, potty mix and everything that we're make, making there. So, you know, we add the high phosphorus fertilizer and then we transplant into the field and it kind of helps out with a little with the transplant shock so the plants can actually get established real nice. So that's what we're doing here. It's just a waiting game to uh, wait until the tank fills up. And then we will go out into the uh, field and show you guys how we are planting. Alrighty, so we are out here in the blueberry field. And what I'm doing here, we got the water. I put some tape on my fingers. So my fingernails are falling off from me doing this yesterday. So I'm just mixing up here. Get to the bottom of there. Mix it up nicely. Just creating a nice muddy mess there. Then I get the plant. It's potted plant. Now I'm just putting it in there, kind of pressing it in, moving this top here, the dirt there on top. Pressing in, just kind of mucky, mucky mess there, mud there, and it's just, once that dirt settles, then uh, we will be good to go. I'm gonna show you guys some that uh, we did yesterday here. Try to drop this water. There you go. So, Let's go over here and show you guys what I did yesterday. So whenever this thing solids up, it is nice, solid, firm plant there. And it's just, uh, we just keep going. We stole this idea from the water wheel transplanter and uh, it seems to be working and it makes it nice and easy and fast when you do plant. So it's a messy process, but it works. <laughs> Here it's 
Saturday afternoon after farmer's market and we got the whole fruit planting. We did some readjustments on how we are planting. So let's go ahead and check it out. It is going fast. As you can see here, we are uh, more than halfway done planting here. We've been out here for probably two hours. The way we do it now is it just goes quick, quick, quick. And that's the plan, just to get it all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I am out here in the blueberry field. It is currently Monday morning. We got done planting Saturday, but you know how we are. Whenever I first started planting, you know, I was doing a certain way. By the time we got done planting, we were, you know, the system completely changed, different way of doing it, different method. So we pulled out the drill. It was doing a better job of mixing in that peat moss with the water and the fertilizer with the soil and the mulch and everything. And we had two to three people coming along planting them, so we were moving along pretty fast we got all these plants planted in about six hours you know just six hours of constant hard work but it did did pay off and uh we are done now so now we're gonna come through and inspect them see how it is i'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys how these plants turned out here so that nice thing about that mucky mess here is it settled in that peat moss is in now so it's uh pretty good now we got a, a few plants we got to come through and readjust add some more soil and stuff to them but overall we did a really good job of setting in these plants nicely there. So as you guys can see here, that peat moss is settled in here. And this is, you know, compared to the heavy clay soil we have in the center, this is peat moss with mulch and soil all, mi all mixed together. Now, we just gotta wait two years and then go ahead and crop it for the first time. These will actually flower next year in the spring, but since we want to grow off the bush and you know get that vegetative growth, and we're gonna go ahead and not let it crop in the second year, but you know in 2022 in the third year, we're gonna go ahead and let it crop and hopefully pick a couple hundred pounds off these, maybe a couple thousand depending on how much vigor we get on them this year next year. So you know we're gonna keep you guys updated on everything we are doing out here in the uh, blueberry field. But this is gonna be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. It really helps out the channel if you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We will see you next time.